Hello, good day. I'm Oliver. Here, let's see for this three-way damper, what is the correct way to operate the damping rear side, left side, and right side. If in the middle you damping, you change the lock position, the, the bucket will drop. You lost the connections. So uh, the bucket is disconnected. How to put it back? That's the wrong operation. So let's see. Uh, now you will see uh, from front, here is, that's unlocked. But rear side here, that is locked. You see this hook, the position, it is already locked inside. That's the difference. So it is locked the rear side to lock. So it's dumping to rear side. Uh, let's dump in, rising. So front, these two pin not locked by this, hole, this hook. So when pushing, it is dumping to rear side. So on the way, rising, never touch the three-way lock. If you touch, here unlock, this one unlocked, this one will drop here, yeah? because you unlocked one side. Only after you drop it down, sit tight on the chassis, the lock in position, then you change the three-way lock. So now it's locking rear side. After changing, you will see, only after sit tight here, yeah, now it's totally unlocked. Rear side also, or here, rear side also unlocked, means now only right side to lock are locked, so you are dumping to right side. So here, all unlocked. That's what I'm saying. If now you're touching the three-way lock, you unlock other side, you will drop also. So when rising, never touching the three-way. Keep it back. Now sit, let's lock it here. You will see, now rear side lock. Front side still not locked, so it's dumping to rear side. So now rear side to locked, front to unlocked. So after sit tight on chassis, now changing again, check. Now it's dumping to left side. Left side locked, right side unlocked. Right side forward also locked. Uh, left side locked, yeah. right side forward unlocked. So now when rising, we'll be dumping to left side. So now you cannot switch the lock. You switch the lock, it will be unlocked front side. It, it will drop. Uh, the three-way lock, it is controlled by three section switch. One, yeah. one switch, uh, middle position, forward position, backward position, three position to control three-way damper. So now uh, dumping to left side, you will see the rear side and the front side. So left side is locked. Right side unlocked, the hook it is pulled out, and the rear side left locked, rear side right unlocked. And what is important you will see here, when pulling, it's pulling to right side, yeah? So this side, this switch you see here, it's the bar on top, it is on top of this secure bar. That's the right position. But after rising, the left side, this one, it is already dropped down, not locked by this bar on top. So when I drop it, sit back, you will see this one will be pushed by chassis and push it up. Then when we move in the lock, the servo, the bar will be shifting and this, this bar will be locked to the top again. Now along, unlocked, yeah? So put it down. Only after put it down, then you can shift it. Okay, now middle position locks the two rear side. So the servo the bar in the middle position. Both what I show you the bar now it is locked. So when locking only the two rear side, dumping to rear side, you will see. So here, this bar it is locked to the top, this uh, positioning bar on the top. Also the right side is also on the top, it's locked in position. So that's the right position. If now I drop it, you will see the difference. Wrong operation, yeah? Now I will unlock. This bucket will drop. That's wrong. But if happened, let's see how to put it back. So now I will do the wrong operation, yeah? Now it's uh, uh, on the top rising. I will unlock this side. You will see it will drop. Okay. 
now. Yeah, so if you unlock operation run like this, this bucket will drop. Yeah, so uh, how we put it back, if you, now you, you're changing back, yeah, so this only locking right side, this one already coming out, you see. This side still in position. Right side, this bar is already out. So we need to press it. And now we also show how we unlock that side too. So. It might be in the pad on. Okay. Yeah, other side also unlocked. So both, all these connections lose, how we put it back. So now the left side, this hook is locked. Right side, this hook is unlocked. So this bucket complete off, how we put it back. So this bar here, it is not locked by the bar. So we push it to the top. So when shifting the bar, we are lock this. Uh, and uh, same time, because right side is already open, we can pull in to the pin position and then lock it. Okay, put the lock into position, into the pin. you will need another person to help you. So now lock it. Okay, so right side now it's already locked and this side already, this bar also locked. Now we will have to push the right side because this one, now later we will open this side. This will coming out. So we're pushing right side. Now, yeah, left side now unlock. This still in position, we lock this side. And the right side, we keep pushing, yeah? Keep pushing so can lock the bar. Now lock this, this side, lock. Okay, now it's in position, put it back. So now no shifting. You sit it back as normal operation. Sit the bucket back, then you can do another shifting. Okay, in position, now we open this side to shifting, other side lock, this side open, dumping to right side. Okay, both are open, right side lock, now dumping to right side. Yeah, again, after rising the bucket, never shifting this lock, otherwise, as we show, it will drop the bucket, and you have to travel to put back all the lock. Thank you for watching, see you.